Hello beautiful people, it's your fashionista friend here, and today we are going to be gossiping about celebrity blind items. So first what I'm going to do is get into what is a blind item, and basically what it is is a piece of gossip that is posted online about a famous person, but it's written in a way that you can't tell who the famous person is unless you're pretty much like a fan of that person. And there are a few popular blind item bloggers online, and one of them is Entertainment Lawyer, who I believe is a entertainment lawyer in the LA space, and so they're around these famous people all the time, and so they pretty much write these blind items about people without saying who they are. And oftentimes why these blind items are written in code is for legal reasons. And speaking of legal reasons, I'd like to say this whole video is alleged. I am just reading celebrity blind items with my guesses to who they're about. This is all alleged and made for entertainment purposes only. I am not saying that the blind items that I talk about today are true. Not everything online is the truth. I'm sure we know that by now. And I found this quote from Entertainment Lawyer that I thought was really interesting about the differences between normal celebrity gossip, such as like TMZ, Entertainment Tonight, versus blind gossip. And the difference is this. Most of the tabloids like to pretend they are selling you gossip, but what they are selling is vanilla PR regulated crap, you know? censorship and a lot of the times these blind items come from industry insiders people who are connected to the celebrity i'm going to be going through some celebrity blind items throughout like the last few years of some celebs that i've been following closely and there's a timestamp down below in the description you can see in the video it's like split up based on the celebrities, so if you're not interested in like one chapter of this video, you can just go ahead and skip around. I totally understand and honestly encourage it. So how I'm gonna do this video is I'm gonna read off the blind item and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit like we're FaceTiming right now and gossiping about people that don't know we exist. Gotta love it. So let's get into the un-PR regulated gossip. So first, we're going to start with the Kardashian-Jenners. Here we go. Reporting on the crimes of this A-list rapper is just the first step the tabloid will do at the behest of the reality family. Look for all kinds of damaging information to be released. Now that one of the family members has been permanently dumped by the rapper, and this is allegedly about Travis Scott, the Kardashians, and Kylie Jenner. It was posted in 2023, so this makes me wonder if more information is going to be coming out about the Astral World tragedy, which honestly, in my opinion, good. I used to be a huge Travis Scott fan, and just the way he went about this whole tragedy is disgusting and so disrespectful to the lives that were lost. And so I hope karma bites him in the ass, quite honestly. Let's get into the next one. Apparently, they didn't follow the no camera rules at the A++ list couple's Oscar party because the reality family, who the wife hates with a passion, had their cameras for their show rolling, documenting the romance that one of the reality family has with that foreign-born rapper slash singer slash sometimes actor. And this is about Beyonce and Jay-Z's Oscar party and how the Kardashian and Jenners were filming Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. So that's interesting. It's pretty much saying that Beyonce hates the Kardashian Jenners with a passion. And I'm starting to see that, you know, as a pattern throughout this. It kind of seems like all the talented people in the entertainment industry don't like the Kardashian Jenners. Like, imagine if you were hosting a party and you're like, okay, guys, like, no phones. Let's try to, like, just be in the moment. No social media, no cameras. Let's just all be here together as people enjoying a good, genuine time. And then your one guest is constantly on their phone or is constantly on their story, like, recording everything when you, as the party host, were like, like, please don't bring the cameras and all that social media sh They just went against Beyonce? Out of all people, you're gonna disrespect Beyonce at her own Oscar party? I don't blame 
Beyonce for hating on them. That is just mad annoying. Here's another one. This A-list reality star with the lucrative side gig, aka Kylie, I think it's funny, MT Lawyer always says, calls Kylie the reality star with a lucrative side gig, I think it's funny, is about to discover her kids are going to have a half-sibling, Kylie Jenner slash Travis Scott. So Kylie Jenner is about to discover her kids are going to have a half-sibling. So does that mean that Travis got another lady pregnant, or is Kylie pregnant with somebody else's baby. That's hot tea. That is very hot tea. Here's the last one of the Kardashian. The team behind the closeted reality star will do anything to make it seem like she has a boyfriend. They even send in fake items to tabloids and reporters, hoping someone will bite. And that's allegedly about Kendall Jenner. I feel like it's not my place to speak on somebody's sexuality. Please don't hate on me for like talking about this but I mean she's on my gaydar too and she has been for years and like I could get in more to it but I don't want to be like, disrespectful but if you google it there's a lot of evidence that's all I'm gonna say next we're gonna get into Cara Delevingne May 27th 2022 this foreign-born model slash bad actress says she partied last week with this a minus list actress who used to be in the awful book series turned franchise and they ended up in bed together so that's about Cara Delevingne and Christian Stewart I could kind of see it I guess that's not like wicked juicy or anything we're starting off tame with Cara Oscars this celebrity offspring might be the public Public girlfriend of this A minus list actor who had a big year he is unlikely to repeat but she is hooking up again with this foreign born model who is back to being sober and this is allegedly about Kaya Gerber Austin Butler and Cara Delevingne so this is like alleged that Kaya Ber Gerber is cheating on Austin Butler with Cara Delevingne T sometimes what makes me wonder about this is that like after reading what's that book called like the Evelyn Hugo book I kind of take celebrity relationships with a grain of salt and especially with like all the attention that Austin Butler had been getting with like the whole Academy Awards I'm sure he didn't want to have a breakup right before then so maybe they just weren't together anymore or official but hey Austin Butler if you um man he is so fine like he he is really I don't have a lot of celebrity crushes but he he is one of them. He is so hot. Unbelievably hot. Oh my god. I'm just thinking about him now and like my mouth is watering a little bit. Oh my god, he's just so dreamy. This one might piss some people off, so let's get into it. This foreign-born A-minus list model slash horrible actress confirmed what I told you last year, that she did go to rehab. I, I, um, have been thinking about making a whole video about Cara Delevingne. Like, I really, she's like a badass. Like, sure, she's a Nepo baby, but like, her family is super private and she's super out there and confident and stuff like I really feel for her but anyways she seems like a new person since she also broke off a relationship with a co-star who she said was a bad influence when it came to substances and this is allegedly about Cara and Selena Gomez and here's what my thought on this I believe it I'm not hating on Selena Gomez for this I feel like substance issues is kind of like a red flag to a deeper issue but I just have to say this about Selena Gomez the devil works hard, Kris Jenner works harder, and Selena Gomez's PR team works the hardest. Because, I mean, in my opinion, I think she's had some pretty serious substance issues, but it's been covered up. Like, have you seen that video of where her and Justin are in, like, the worst part of LA, like, buying substances? Hey, can you just say hi to your fans, though? I don't want you to do that. Huh? Yeah. All right. Hey, I got Justin Bieber here at the Swami, though. Are right you in my hood, homie? That's Justin Bieber for you guys. He's in Hollywood. The worst, the worst part of it, too. I believe this to be true and I think she has a history with it that she hasn't opened up about. I just wish everyone the best. Next, we're moving on to Paris Hilton. If you haven't seen my last video, I read her celebrity memoir and pretty much spilled all the tea in it if you want to check it out. There was a really interesting comment I got on that video from somebody about how Paris Hilton has this racist and homo past she kind of hit it and it's interesting because I feel like Paris Hilton is having this whole new generation fall in love with her and we don't know about some of the dark secrets of her past and Paris kind of is scrubbing the internet of her darkness and rewriting her dark history in her novel after seeing that comment on my video and then after reading these blind items it's making me look at Paris Hilton differently in a bad way so let's get into Paris Hilton 
This former A-list reality star who was the most hated celebrity for quite some time had a new generation of people realize why. The reality star has been scrubbing the internet of everything she can from her past, but was unable to rid the race and homo things she has uttered in the past. Now she is having to apologize for them, even though she still believes it all. And this is about Paris Hilton. And even in the thinking about it, reading her book, she could have apologized for it. She had the opportunity to set the record straight. And I don't quote me on this, but I vaguely remember her not giving the situation the apology it deserves, first of all. And her kind of just giving a vague apology. I wouldn't even call it an apology, saying like, I said a lot of things in my 20s I shouldn't have and that I don't agree with today. I'm like, that's not enough. Also, at the same time, I'm a white person. It's not my apology to accept, but just as somebody looking in on the situation, I feel like she did not handle it with grace. She did not handle it in the right way. She is not handling it in the right way. Even I've done a lot of research on Paris Hilton and I wonder if her PR team is the same as Selena Gomez's because a lot has been scrubbed from the internet of her and the early 2000s and I've just realized that throughout my own research. It's really hard to dig up dirt on Paris Hilton because this blind item is right. She has scrubbed it from the internet with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and bleach. So next one. Apparently this reality star thought her kid would get her more attention than it has and that she could monetize the child more easily. The thing is advertisers don't see her as the motherly type and feel like the general public feels the same. So now until she can figure out what to do, the baby spends a lot of time at home without her. That's sad. I don't know. Like, is Paris really gonna fall into this whole mommy vlogger con thing? I really hope not. I think that family channels and mommy vloggers are so messed up, and I really hope she doesn't take that path. I don't know if sh how she feels about having a kid, because I feel like generations before- I'm- I was born in 2000, so I feel like people who are older than me that were, like, around for Paris Hilton's, like- young 20s era see her in a totally different light than I do. So I don't really know how to feel about that. It was interesting when reading her book because like throughout it she was like, I can't wait to have my baby girl. I can't wait to have my baby girl. And then she has a boy. And then my dad told me this wild rumor. And I don't know if it's true, okay? I just want to throw this in here. He was like, yeah, Paris Hilton had 10 surrogates separate surrogates because she wanted to have a girl and I'm like I don't I think you're thinking of somebody else dad I don't know but I just wanted to throw that in there put that idea out there has anybody else heard that rumor as well my dad hates Paris Hilton and I can see why he was a dad when my sisters are like Paris Hilton's age so I kind of understand why my dad hates her because like she's done some crazy stuff okay here's the third one considering how them and home seem to run in the family, including people who didn't get sent away, it sounds like this former A-list hated reality star is trying to totally rewrite history. She and Mark Wahlberg should go on a woe is me tour. Yeah, that's honestly true. At this point, I think she really is rewriting history and it's kind of messed up. And I remember the commenter said in her documentary and her book, she had so many opportunities to set the record straight and formally apologize, but she didn't. Okay, here's the last one. Speaking of the former reality star in the last post, did going to boarding school also cause her to throw out of her home the former A-plus list singer who she said had been drugged and was afraid of being R-worded and then says she was R-worded because she had been kicked out of the star's house that night? And this is apparently about Paris Hilton kicking out Kesha of her house and then Kesha being taken advantage of by Dr. Luke. So rereading that, speaking of Paris Hilton, did going to boarding school also cause her to throw out of her home Kesha, who said she had been drugged and was afraid of being R-worded, and then she says she was R-worded because she had been kicked out of Paris Hilton's house. That's, like, really messed up, and, like, I don't know, I feel like Paris Hilton has lost a lot of my trust since posting that last video I made, but, like, I don't know, Paris has been drugged and R-worded. This kind of surprises me that she would do something like this, but at the same time, she has lost a lot of my trust. And she didn't write about that in the book. I had no idea about this until I found that celebrity blind item. So tell me what you think about that. And justice for Kesha. Next, moving on to Britney Spears. This might piss some people off. Sorry. All right. 
This happened at the Golden Globes. The former former A minus list singer turned A minus list actress says she's blocked a dozen phone numbers and is considering changing her number that she has had for a decade or longer simply because the permanent A list singer won't stop bothering her. The actress also refused to answer any questions about the unusual photograph that everyone has been discussing. And this is about Selena Gomez and Britney Spears. Basically, this is alluding to Britney Spears' is spamming Selena Gomez's phone and Selena isn't answering. I understand as a celebrity not answering an unknown number, but wouldn't Britney like text her saying, hey, this is Britney Spears, like let me prove it to you or whatever. Like why is Selena ignoring Britney? Maybe because Selena's going through her own shit right now. I'm gonna get into another blind item that's similar to this. I think it's just weird that Selena is ignoring Britney's calls allegedly. This former a plus list singer says she gets late night calls from an unknown number. The calls always occur between 12.45 and 12.50 and a.m. and the caller is probably an A list singer wanting to talk, but the former A plus lister can't be sure, even though they have known each other their whole lives. And this is apparently about Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. So isn't it weird that Britney Spears is continuously calling her friends from unknown numbers? Like, is that a cry for help? Is it her acting erratically? It's just concerning to me. Like, if we had only seen one blind item about it, I'll be like, mm, BS. But it kind of seems like there's a pattern here. Here's this third one. If you don't think the husband didn't want a public meltdown a la 2007 through 2008, then you would be wrong. And this is about Britney Spears and her now husband, Sam Agari. I this is my personal opinion. I do not trust Sam Agari. I do not like him. I have a feeling he's in it for the money. This is sad to say, but I'd be surprised if he was in the marriage for the right reasons. I, I just feel really bad for Brittany. I feel like she doesn't have a lot of good people around her. Here's another one. This detective agency is known worldwide. Why have they been hired by the former business manager of the permanent A-list singer? What secrets are they trying to dig up? They are definitely investigating something to do with the singer. And this is um, about Lou Taylor hiring this fancy, well-known detective agency to look into Britney Spears. And this probably has to do with the whole conservatorship. Lou Taylor's sketchy, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's just trying to save face by hiring a private investigator to find some dirt on Britney so that she can continue to control Britney and or get off the hook with the accusations that Britney is outing Lou on. Here's another one. This permanent A-list singer is being set up by those around her to make her look bad and put the control of her fortune into the hands of her scheming significant other. This is about Britney Spears and Sam Agari, and I believe this. And maybe that's why Lou M. Taylor is hiring this fancy smancy detective services to find dirt on Britney so that they can lock her up again and control her estate. It's, it's really sad that, you know, she can't trust her family she can't trust her husband. It just seems like everyone in the entertainment world is against her and I don't know why Selena Gomez and Christina Aguilera are ghosting Britney. Maybe they should be reaching out to her. We don't know the full story, obviously, but you know, it's just sad. Now we're going to be moving into the Biebers, Justin and Haley. There were no doctors forcing the A-list singer to cancel his tour. For collecting on insurance, they might have said that, but it was all the singer's decision. Justin Bieber cancels remaining Justice Tour dates after health concerns. And I believe this. There's been a lot of videos out there of Justin like taking photos with fans, you know, when people do like the VIP experience and he just looks miserable, like he doesn't want to be there. I wouldn't be surprised if he canceled the tour because of all the Haley Selena drama that's been going on and they just needed to make up an excuse. Although I did see the video of him, his face, half of it's frozen. That is really messed up. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't true. My impression for the whole situation is that his childhood and teen years were ripped away from him. A lot of people were taking advantage of him, like his talent and physically in disgusting ways. And he's just done with the entertainment industry. He made his money, he wants to settle down and have a family. Just my impression from it, as someone who's chronically online. 
This former A- list singer turned actress is one who started slash encouraged slash facilitated slash enabled the actions directed by the A- list celebrity offspring. Now the actress wants to all the credit for trying to put a stop to it. So Selena Gomez is the one who started slash encouraged slash facilitated slash enabled the actions directed towards Hailey Bieber. Now Selena Gomez wants all the credit for trying to put a stop to it. Crazy. I mean, I know Selena has made some jabs at Haley, but I feel like it's not to the extent that Haley has done it to Selena. I think Selena's trying to put a stop to all this madness right now because it's gotten so out of hand. So I don't know if I really agree with that blind item. They're kind of trying to say, well, Selena started it and now she's trying to put an end to it. This is the last one for the Biebers. This barely there celebrity offspring who is married to an A-list singer has started watching him when he has SEX with other women. She says that at least she knows what he is doing. And this is about Haley Baldwin Bieber slash Justin Bieber. And I mean, why do I feel like I remember reading somewhere that Haley Bieber has like baby monitors watching Justin Bieber? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he's cheating on her. I mean, it's not really my place to say. We're just gossiping here. Like, we're just chilling, okay? I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's cheating on her, especially after finding out about how stalkerish haley has been throughout the years. And it was interesting... I remember Haley was like so eager to have children after they got married and then once they got married she was like no I don't want kids anymore and I feel this isn't my place to say this is just my theory okay conspiracy theory <laughs> where's my tinfoil hat that once Haley started getting a lot more fame and publicity from being Justin Bieber's wife she didn't want to slow down and have kids anymore because she wanted to use that power boost that he gave her you know and I mean it's her body it's her decision if she doesn't want to have kids and she doesn't have to have kids but um I just kind of get the vibe that you know once she got a lot more popularity from marrying Justin Bieber she's like actually no I want to focus on my career right now I don't want to have kids and Justin's like wait I want to have kids right away. I didn't sign up for this. Next, moving on to Cole Sprouse. This man, oh my gosh. After watching the Call Her Daddy podcast interview, I have lost so much respect for him. Lost. He was literally my first celebrity crush. Maybe even my first crush. I was team Cody, not team Zach growing up. And I'm honestly really disappointed and disgusted by him now. He gives me the ick. He really does. So let's get into it. This A-list actor who has been acting since he was a kid and has other actions in the family is really a toxic F-word, isn't he? I love how he blames his actress co-star slash former girlfriends for all the problems they face as a couple. Is the serial cheater sa slash A-B-U-S-E-R playing the victim card? This is next level low. And this is about Cole Sprouse with Lily Reinhardt in Riverdale. I don't know he just gives me weird vibes you know I mean I always want to believe victims but it is hard for me to believe Cole Sprouse and I mean there was already cheating rumors about him and Kaya Gerber from forever ago there have been people that have come out and been working on the set of productions from that Cole Sprouse has been a part of and they were like he was the worst to work with Interestingly enough, Cole Sprouse is one of the celebrities who, like, everyone in a celebrity-adjacent field has a story about. Like, whether you're a reporter, you've interviewed him, you work in PR, you work as an assistant, whatever, you have a story about this man because he's infamously horrible. Obviously, I don't want to give away too many details because, like, I feel like my story is vague enough and he's done it to enough people that, like, it wouldn't get back to me. But I don't obviously want to invite that into my life. But what I will say, it's really weird watching him be like thirsted after by people when he is like the worst boyfriend in Hollywood. Like he negs his girlfriends. Like he'll be dating actual models, like the prettiest people you've ever seen. And he'll neg them and tell them they're not beautiful. But not only that, he'll like say they're shallow and stupid. Like, he'll tell them directly, your interests are really vapid. Like, oh, you want to do this? You, you like makeup? No, that's really interesting. I'm into photography and I'm into art. And like, I've watched him like tear like into someone in such like a manipulative way. I'm like, you watch pickup artists. 
you watch like the dregs and you think because you smoke and you like dye your hair black, your art scene cool. Ew. It's really gnarly. He's really gross. He is painting a totally different picture from who he is. And even he's in the interview, he's acting like such a pretentious asshole. And then he's like, woe is me. I'm the victim. I don't know. Here's the, we only have two on Cole Sprouse. Has anyone seen the former tween slash teen actor turned a A minus list adult asshole actor apologize for spreading STDs around his one night stands that he says he doesn't have while he drinks, even though he says he is sober every night and cheats on his girlfriend, but yeah, he's the victim. This is about Cole Sprouse and his now girlfriend. And I'd heard in the past that he would like hook up with people that he'd take photos with. Like, you know how he's like really into photography and stuff? Like he would kind of use his power to take advantage of those women. And so basically would sleep around with a lot of the people he would photograph, a lot of the models. And I mean, he has a model girlfriend now. And I even read somewhere, it kind of seems like he has that alcohol bloat going on in his face. But I mean, who knows? Knows. Tell me what you think about that. I don't want to be too mean here. I know, I'm sure I'm already being mean enough, but it's not my intention. Don't shoot the messenger. Is that the last one? Oh, that's it. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed reading these unpr censored items of gossip with me. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts on all this hot tea down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, also, I love Gossip Girl. I love books. I love fashion. I like learning about corruption in the fashion and entertainment industries. If you're intrigued by that as well, please hit the subscribe button. Follow me on my other social medias. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye.